Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video and your daily update on Bitcoin. I try to prepare you as well as possible for the upcoming week, but also today it's the volatile Sunday. Um, so that's what we'll do. We'll talk about Bitcoin. Um, yeah, mainly about the technicals, to be honest. I mean, about the fundamentals. We already talked about that. I'll briefly touch upon that as I, as, as I do think it's necessary and as I think it's going to be um, one of the main themes of next week. Um, but in general, let's... Um, Let's get right into it. Not a lot has happened since yesterday. I mean, we practically just moved around uh, around the 28,450 level, um, but, but no big movements. I mean, we were a bit bullish yesterday evening and yesterday afternoon we were a bit bearish, but overall just not a lot happened, uh, which is going to change today. I think usually, as most of you know, the Sunday and kind of the transition from Sunday to Monday provides a lot of um, um, uh, liquidity, but also volatility. And the big question is, is wh which way is that going to go? Uh, I mean, if you take a look at the last couple of uh, Sundays, you can see that here we actually were relatively bullish during the entire day. Um, that was last Sunday and the Sunday before we were also quite bullish here. We went up. Um, so overall, if you if you take a look at all the Sundays, which I have done before uh, since the beginning of the year, most of them have been bullish. Um, but before we get into uh, get on to more about Bitcoin, if you want to receive daily trading signals by me, we've been very profitable so far since the start one uh, one and a half month ago. Check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comment, and there you'll find instructions on how to join. Um, but now on to Bitcoin. So as, I, as as we talked about technically, I mean technically we are very bullish. I would say you can see that this bullish momentum has been holding up for quite a while. And this is kind of, if, if you want to talk in market structures, this is it, right? I mean, we have this major resistance level around, I would argue, uh, 28,700. We've never broken above that. That's the level we want to break. If we can break above that, then the next level, um, technically, to be honest, is 29,500. But I think uh, that level is so close that I think that a bullish breakout above 29,000 or 28,700, excuse me. Uh, would provide enough bullish momentum to actually shoot up to this 30k level which first of all has the 2.618 where the 1.618 we reacted to uh, very well so i can assume that we're going to react to that but apart from that 30k is also a massive psychological level and a lot of people are looking forward to that level they're, they're just looking at that level so that's really the price target uh, but we must still break above 28,700. and at this point of time i think technically um Yes, technically on the short term, this, that does look like the most likely scenario. So that's, um, well, today or tomorrow, really, we got the best shot at doing that. Next week, we don't have any uh, major fundamental events coming out. I mean, a lot of things can happen, obviously, but nothing is uh, scheduled. Um, so I think today or tomorrow, we have the best chance to actually do this, um, which at this point of time seems like the most likely scenario. But this market, it's so unpredictable sometimes uh, that's why I, I cannot stand behind this fully and it's also i mean 30k we haven't hit, hit those levels for uh, almost a year i think the last time we were at those levels was may 2022 which is almost a year ago um so sure technically this looks like the most likely scenario but it really is going to depend on what kind of movement we get i mean right now um it's okay if we drop down towards like 28,000, but if we drop down to 27,700. That's a bit too far down, I think. Then it's more likely, I think, that we will um, kind of form a consolidation, which we have already been forming the foundations for, something like this, a consolidation. But then it would be confirmed. So it does depend. I think we're going to retrace a bit more before we can uh, go up, just to get some momentum, get some buyers into the in, into the mix. Um, if we drop down to 28,000, nothing is wrong. If we drop down to 27,700 and really close around that level, I would um, I would start to question whether we can still get to 30K soon, at least. Um, but I'll keep you updated on that, of course, uh, in the Telegram group and, and everything like that. For now, if you do have any questions, then let me know. Uh, take care today. Enjoy the last day of your weekend and bye.